What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V Flat World. I'm in my studio today with Emily and we are shooting a vintage 70s themed portrait with just a little bit of color. So let's go check it out. The setup for this shot is a three light setup. I've also got two V-flats and I'll explain those in just a second. Uh, but my key light here is just a Profoto B10 with a beauty dish and that's just angled here, kind of just loop lighting. And then that's where we're gonna bring in this other V-flat. So we've got this V-flat here on the white side that's pretty close to her. And what that's gonna do is that's actually creating just a little bit of kickback. I've got this light feathered a little bit towards this so it is just hitting her hitting this, bouncing back, so it's not so dark on the right side of her face. Uh, the second V-flat and then the light that's right behind this key light is gonna be my rim light. And what that is, that's just a B1 with a purple gel that's actually bounced into the white side of a V-flat. Rather than using a, uh, like a strip box or something, I just folded up another V-flat, bounced the light into it, threw a purple gel on there because with the colors of her outfit, we kind of wanted kind of a, we wanted a natural looking 70s scene. We also wanted just a little bit of pop of color. So we threw in uh, the purple gel, just taped it on the front of that and bounced it in. That's creating just some rim light. And it's also bouncing into this other V flat as well. So we're getting a little bit of just like a purple hue on her right side, as well as the obvious rim light on her left side. Uh, and then finally, the third light up overhead here is we've got uh, just a chocolate gel that is bouncing into the background. It's also got a 40 degree grid on there. And what that does, that just creates a little bit of vignetting on the background to kind of draw the viewer's eye into her rather than just having a nice clean, uh, you know, brown on the whole background. So all that does is just kind of creates a natural vignette on the background. Um, but let's go ahead and run through what each light is doing individually and then we'll go ahead and show you final image. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow VFlat World. Check them out online at vflatworld.com. Uh, and if you want to see any more of my work, check me out on Instagram at readylightmedia or at nextlevelworkshops.com. Big thanks to Emily for helping us out today, and I'll see you next time.